Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I put a torque converter on a Predator 212 engine. Uh, I couldn't find instructions for it, so I figured I'd make a little video on it. Um, show you how to put it together. This is a, a spare engine I have, and it won't be permanently on that, so I'm not going to be tightening or doing any torque specs or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to be putting it on that go-kart over there. So there will be a video on that as well. So make sure you're subscribed. I am giving away two $20 gift cards at 500 and 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed to get your chance to win. With that out of the way, uh, let me show you how to put this together. All right, so this is everything that my kit came with, the belt, the drive side torque converter part, the uh, output shaft part, some washers, a key. You do have to go get your own hardware. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that already, but I'll leave a link to that again in the description. You do get two different gears, a 10 tooth and a 12 tooth. I need the 12 tooth. Mine actually came assembled with a 10, so I had to take all that apart to put that on. Um, I am upgrading from a you know, centrifugal clutch and everything I read, this just makes it smoother and easier to use. And I'm really excited to get it actually on the go-kart. But let me show you guys how to put this together. So we're going to be starting with the, the drive side. So you're going to need this washer that's keyed. You're going to need the key itself. Make sure that's all the way back as far as you can. Makes it easier to put everything on. You're going to need the proper gear for your setup. Just slide that on. Try to keep everything as taut as possible. Makes it easier to put it on. And then we are going to be going to the actual torque part. And this is keyed as well. Just make sure that's... Uh, lined up that right so you're not pushing it on the wrong way. See, I can't even do it right. And every once in a while, I just got to hit this back here. Now that that's on, I'm going to take this washer and put that on and then you're going to tighten this up and like I said I'm not going to be tightening it up all the way just because I'm going to be taking it back off and this is a lock washer so I'm going to tighten it up when I need it to be so that's on there now we're going to start on the output shaft side you got to remember that the output shaft is key as well so I'm just going to bring that to the top for myself we're going to start by putting on this washer, running that down, the spacer, now that you've got the spacer on, you're going to be coming over and getting this flat piece right here, and this is keyed as well, let's keep that in mind, throw that on, then you're going to throw on this brass fitting, this is to uh, provide less friction on the belt to save your belt. Now that we have this, we're at this stage, this is where I'm going to be putting the belt on. And the belt is slightly different. One side is, you know, caved in a little bit, and one side's completely flat. And you want the flat side, obviously, on this because these sides are, uh, have that concave edge to it. So we're just going to put that on. Now that that's on, you want to make sure this is all the way back as much as you can. Because now we're going to be pushing stuff on. Next up you have this piece right here, and this is a like a big key for this. And this, it does matter which way you put it on. You want to put this side on with the side of the belt, and this is keyed as well. So you want this towards the engine because this part right here goes in here. And you pick that up and you just line it up and put it on. Make sure that's lined up right there. 
And then you get this piece, and this is keyed as well, and that just lines up. And then again, you are going to need to get one of your own bolts. Again, this is 5 8 24 thread or a fine thread. Not what comes with the kit. And we're just going to make sure everything's lined up and keyed and just slightly snug that on there. Oh, no. There we go. Well, that's what it looks like put together. I'm going to be taking it off this engine and putting it on this brand new Predator engine I got over here. One of the downsides to me using that torque converter over there is I'm going to have to adjust where my gear is. And this is a single axle. It's like a posi rear in a car. So I don't know if it's actually going to fit, but make sure you're subscribed so you can check out that video as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.